Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you. Um, so sorry if I sound like maybe I'm losing my voice a little bit. I just got off a plane a few hours ago. I had the great blessing to visit a friend for their wedding yesterday. And as I was flying on the plane there and on the way back. All right. All right. Can you all hear him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll speak louder for you, though. Don't yeah. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Always keeping us on point over here. Um, in fact, I thought she was going to run after me, chasing me down, because I showed up about two minutes before church, and that's, again, the plane. Um, okay, so as I was on the plane, I was just thinking about, what am I going to say about gratitude? And I thought about it, and I was like, well, I'm here with these really great friends, right, who, some of them live in Chicago, some of them don't live in Chicago, but I was just thinking about how thankful I was to be with these people that some of them I've known for 20 years, and we're all a really tight-knit group for 20 years. Of course, the two getting married thought that they were going to have, they've been together for, for a very long time, and they said, you know, we're going to have a low-key wedding, and, you know, what's more low-key than Vegas, right? So here we all are, a whole group of us from, like, way back in our early, late teens, early 20s, kind of getting together again over in Vegas for this wedding. And, yes, we were at the Sure Things Chapel right there, downtown, and... Um, it was one of these unique experiences, right, where you start to realize that these people that you've known for really more than half of my life um, have these like, really deep human connections that are built. And those human connections sparked so much joy in me just being with these people that I haven't seen in a long time, also that I haven't seen together in a long time. And we're sharing all the stories, right? You know the stories that come out when you're with a group of friends from when you were young? You know those pictures that surface from those old Facebook days that they're showing and everybody's like giggling and laughing at you? And you know those pictures that you didn't share on Facebook for a really good reason, but they still pop up 20 years later? So we're there having these moments of really deep connections and everybody around us who we've added to this group, whether it's our, you know, our significant others or friends that are there for the wedding, are engaging in those moments of human connections and they're engaging in those moments of joy and they're seeing this picture of how who we are as a human and who we are as a group of humans are just it's some things that are just like completely amplified, right? What is, what's brought out from us in a particular group of people are things that you never see in a one-to-one -one basis. And so here we are acting, trying not to act too much a fool because, you know, it is Vegas and we all do have to catch flights in the morning. Um, we are having those moments where we're just, we're just thankful for the times that we spent and the times that have long since been there in the past and those memories that were created. And I thought about that as I was getting ready to come to church and said, you know how thankful it is when I can show up to, how thankful I am when I show up to this church and I see each one of you. And whether it's sharing a coffee with you and talking about Marvel Comics, which I know Stephen likes to talk about, or whether I'm talking with you about uh, the news or, God forbid, politics these days, you know, whatever it is that we're talking about, build these deep human connections. And it's a moment where I recognize that this depth of humanity that we have in us is just amplified when we're together. And we have so many ways to get together. We can get together through Zoom. We get together through writing letters, through text message, through, uh, through virtual visits. But there's something about being in a room with somebody and just sitting down and having a coffee with them and talking with them and saying, you know what, I see you and you see me. And you know what, do you remember this picture from three months ago? Do you remember that one time that we did this together? And I recognize how much that is a part of this church, that even how me being here for maybe two years, three years, I can't remember the exact time, it's been long enough that I have those moments of remember when we were at the Pride Parade together you remember when that thing happened that we all laughed about? Do you remember when we were over there planting, uh, planting plants outside the church? Do you remember when we were serving breakfast on Saturday morning? And things like that truly are a marker of a, of a true church community. Um, I was reflecting on this especially in light of kind of the, the biblical text in Hebrews where we're talking about Christ's sacrifice and the perseverance of the faith. And the writer writes about um, kind of how important it is to keep meeting together, and specifically that we have to consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. And that's what we do at this church, is spurring each other on, each one another on towards, towards love, right? We can love deeper when we're together. We spur, we, we spur each other on towards good deeds. We can do more good deeds, and we can do them wider if we do this together, and that's the power of who we are as a community and as a church community. 
And so I want us to think about that today because the amount of gratitude that I get when I walk in here and I just feel joy well up in my heart and I feel the love become more powerful and I feel the will to do good deeds just grow even wider, I'm thinking how can we be here and how can we do this together and how can we as a community continue to meet and continue to develop uh, this, this will of Christ out in the world. And the way that we do that takes a few things. It means showing up. Sometimes we aren't able to show up in person, but it means showing up. It also means being able to interact with some of the different ministries that we have around the church, whether that's our reading groups or whether that's our Bible studies or whether that's just even coffee after church and getting to know each other, whether that's our Saturday morning breakfasts, which are a really good time to get to know each other here as well as in the community and develop those memories. And sure, I got some because I can tell you, June really knows how to work the pancakes, the, the pancake maker. I'm terrible at making pancakes, and if I can learn it, somebody else can learn it too. And those are the type of memories that we develop, and we develop those with, smile and, with a smile and with joy. And so the third way that we can help with that is by donating. It does take money, right? It does take money to make these things happen. As much as I wish that it was just like, time and smiles and you know, fun and games, you know, we need a few nickels and quarters to get us somewhere. So um, this is an urge to kind of think about what this church means to you, what the space means to you, what this space means to a group of people who can develop those deep human connections and memories, and to really think about how you can continue to sustain this and support that. So thank you all. I love you all. It's really great to be with you, with you here this morning. So um, thank you. And Reverend, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being here.